another intriguing story. Actress Megan Good opens up about her marriage and divorce to ex-husband Pastor Devin Franklin and also her life post-divorce. She said, my divorce shook me to my core that she was so devastated about the divorce at the time, but she went on to speak so highly of her ex-husband in a recent interview on Club Shay Shay. Also in an interview with Huda and Jenna, she spoke about her friends not particularly in support of her relationship with Jonathan Majors. She said they tried to discourage her from moving forward with the relationship, but she had to stick to her gut. Y'all, all of this we'll be talking about in this video, but before we get right into it, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. And please do like this video, it does help our channel. Thank you. So you guys, the beautiful 42 year old actress Megan Good, who is never aging or we can just say she's aging backwards. She got vulnerable when discussing her past love with Devin Frankly and of course her new relationship with Jonathan Majors. Although she did not go into details about her relationship with Jonathan Majors on Club Shay Shay, she did talk about it on the early hours of today with Huda and Jenna. Megan Good, who has been in the entertainment industry from childhood, from an early age, from various ads like Pringles, our favorite arts, to being a childhood star appearing in classic like Eve Bayou and Cousin Scatter, she is now developed into a seasoned actress beloved by her fans as well as her co-stars. In 2012, on the set of the film Jumping the Broom, she met her ex-husband Devin Franklin who was an executive for the distribution company that released the project. She married Pastor Devin Franklin, smitten in love and hopeful for a blissful union. They had a beautiful marriage and were loved by their fans. They even went on to publish a book together. Megan Good at the time spoke so highly of Devin Franklin and reflecting on her experience from a previous toxic relationship, she said the first First thing God told me was that it was time to get out of that relationship. The second thing God told me was that it was time to be celibate. The third thing God told me was that Devon was my husband. However, after almost 10 years of marriage to Devon Franklin in December 2021, Megan Good and her ex-husband announced publicly that they were divorcing after 9 years of marriage and we soon later found out that the decision wasn't hers as Devon Franklin found for the divorce. The divorce was final on June 23, 2022 after what was supposed to be their 10th wedding anniversary. Since the reason for this divorce was not widely known or before it was made public knowledge that Devon was the one who filed for divorce, people had accused him of trying to control the narrative, control Megan's life and try to turn her into a perfect preacher's wife but we soon find out in the recent interview with Club Shay Shay that Megan has always been religious and has always bare on her sleeve her religious mindset and, and all things God in all interview. Even on this recent interview with Club Shay Shay she always spoke about her relationship with God, how she became celibate, how God told her this and that, how she prays about projects and movies to feature in and not to feature in, the kind of interviews, magazine poses and all of that. That. So really, she has been all that from the very beginning, as a matter of fact, from a very young age. So we can just quash that narrative that Devin Franklin was trying to groom her into the perfect preacher's wife. Once it was made known that Devin Franklin fought for divorce, Megan Good was soon demonized as always wanting a bad boy as she couldn't deal with a good boy husband in Devin Franklin. She and ex-husband were also accused by people who had no knowledge about why the divorce happened of cheating. But in the course of the interview with Punk, she made it clear that there was no cheating from both ends. Although she did not elaborate about the divorce and what actually happened, she went on to praise her ex-husband for being brave enough, taking the needed step to end their marriage. She said, it shook her to her very core because it was something that she has always been afraid of and never wanted to happen because of her parents' relationship, but that it was something that needed to happen. She said, that instance, but um, going through the divorce, that shook me to my core. 
I was just like, but Lord, you asked me to be celibate. I was, you know, you told me who to marry. I married that person. I try to do everything to the best of my ability and, and no, I didn't do everything perfect, but I don't know that I could have done anything different if I'm being honest. Mm. And so according to Megan, it took a lot of prayer, evaluation and learning to get her back to a healed, whole and happy space. It was a lot of rediscovering God and realizing that sometimes the way we see and understand things, it's not that it's not true, but we come into different season. She said, at the time I was so mad at Devon, but now I think what he did was brave to grow where we're supposed to grow. We should have been married for that specific time. I can now look at Devon and say, that's a good person and be grateful for our time. She went on to mention that they are great friends and they have a good cordial relationship between them and that there's still love between them. But on to friendship. I mean, I was married for a decade, yeah. you know, to a wonderful person, and we're still friends. And I mean, to the point when we went to the lawyer's office, they were like, you know, you guys are da -da. I was like, you look great. He's like, you too. <laughs> they were like, what is happening right now, you know? Um, but that's the beautiful thing is, is that it, it, to me, it's a success when you've learned a lot, when you've given a lot, when you take a lot with you, um, when you're a better person for it. And you can say, you know what? This sucks. This is not fair. All these things. Or you can say, you know what? We got to do this, and we've we grown so much, this. and we gave each other so much. And then, you you know, next act of our lives. Yeah, and I guess we will never know why the divorce really happened and really keeping it close to chest. I respect that. But then there have also been some assumptions about Devon divorcing her because she doesn't want to be a mom. I'm not sure how true this rumor is, but it's just one of those words out there in the street. And yes, it's my duty to let you all know all the stories out there. And yes, Megan Gould has since moved on with her life. She seemed to be in a happy space and a healed version of herself. And I've also moved on into a new relationship with actor Jonathan Majors. And well, it was kind of given those people with the school of thought that Megan definitely loved the bad boy vibes. Kind of like right because her relationship with Jonathan Majors was made public at a time while he was going through a lawsuit from his previous girlfriend Grace Jabari. And it was not just any type of lawsuit, it was a DV lawsuit. People couldn't wrap their heads around why Megan Good was in a relationship with Jonathan Major considering the allegations levied against him and the evidence brought up by his ex-girlfriend's legal team. But Megan Good was by his side all through. She even went into the courtroom with him several times. Even when uncomfortable information were being read in the courtroom about Jonathan Majors, she stuck with him all through. People were also thinking that this must be some kind of PR stunt to try to save Jonathan Majors' career, but this thing has lingered longer than expected, and these two are still rocking together as a couple. Although many people do not believe in her relationship with Jonathan Majors, many do not feel like she's in a safe relationship considering Jonathan's character, but Megan Good seemed to be happy and growing. On today's show with Huda and Jenna, when Axley for personal circles suggested she waits to get into a relationship with Jonathan Majors amid his pending trial, Megan Good said, uh, Yeah, every friend advised me. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, but at, at the end of the day, I... One thing I know is I can always look myself in the mirror when I trust my spirit, when I trust God, when I ask God, and when I, you know, move to the beat of my own drum, I can always look and say, okay, I'm proud of that. No matter whatever happens, I have peace in my heart, I have harmony in my heart, and it's only when I do something based on someone else saying, well, I think you should do this, and I, and I take everyone I love's uh, yeah, advice, opinion sure. and advice into account for sure, but... She added that she takes everyone's opinion and advice into account for sure, but at the end of the day, she's the one who has to leave her life. She said, I'm the one who has to get to heaven one day prayerfully and give God an account of what I did. So I want to be responsible for the choices that I make. I also want to live the life I want to live. Megan Good and Jonathan Majors have been dating since 2023 during his trials, his lawsuit from his girlfriend and she went on to say in today's show with Huda and Jenna that the support we've been able to give to each other, the pouring into each other, the honest conversation, the love, the respect, just the care and the thoughtfulness has been really wonderful. You guys, it feels like Megan Good really enjoys the fact that she can 
be there for Jonathan Major just being like a savior in his hardship season, in his trying season, and just pouring into him and him also pouring into her. Like she said, even though the public may not be comfortable with the relationship, but then again, we all had her. She is her life choice, it's her decision, and she's going to make it however she pleases. Just listening to Megan Good. Dream Club Shasha interview, she feels like someone who is deeply rooted in her religious belief and also she seemed like a very beautiful person with a beautiful spirit who is a nurturer. So I see her, you know, trying to nurture Jonathan Majors and help him and groom him. And I'm hoping that your relationship really works out and it's mutual coming from both ends. I'm glad that she's in a good space with her ex-husband, Devin Franklin, and that there's still friendship between them. Again, even though she did not mention the real reason for the divorce, I'm glad that they are both healing and that she is moving forward with her career where she also mentioned for the first time she got her pay what from Tyler Perry who paid her what she's really worth for the first time ever. I, I think that was spectacular but you guys what are your thoughts on the whole Megan Good interview on Club Shay Shay and also on today with Huda and Jenna speaking about her divorce from ex-husband Devon Franklin and her current relationship with Jonathan Majors. You guys share your thoughts in the comment section. Do you all really feel the vibe between Jonathan Majors and Megan Good? Do you all still feel skeptical about the relationship? Do you all think she's treading on dangerous waters or do you think like there's healing and there's progress and maybe some kind of New beginning for Megan Good in her relationship with Jonathan Majors. You guys share your thoughts in the comment section. Y'all know I love to hear your thoughts and opinion. And as always, thank you so much guys for watching. If you got to this point of the video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. Until the next one, remember to pray, work out, work smart, and slay. Bye-bye.